Hey everyone, Emily here and welcome to my kitchen. A couple of my favorite things to make are pasta and zucchini and it's great when you can combine the two. I'm gonna be making some zucchini noodles today and turning one of my favorite really easy pastas to make, cacio e pepe, into a zucchini noodle pasta. So let's give this a try and see how it comes out. I think it's gonna be really good. Cacio e pepe is already a super simple recipe and it comes together really quickly. The two main ingredients are black pepper and pecorino romano cheese. So before I get started making my zucchini noodles, this is so fast to do as well, I'm just gonna get started by toasting up a good amount of black pepper in a hot pan. So this is just a dry pan, and I'm going to add in quite a bit of black pepper. This is, again, one of the main ingredients. Looks like a good amount. I'll let that toast up for a few seconds, and while it does, I'm gonna get started on my zucchini noodles. To make these zucchini noodles, I'm just going to cut the ends off of a washed zucchini, and then I'm going to get out this vegetable spiralizer. This can turn just about any vegetable into veggie spirals or veggie noodles, and it has a few different attachments. I'm going to use one of the thinner ones for the zucchini. For this particular vegetable spiralizer, one whole zucchini would be just a little bit too long. Push that onto the end and then you turn. Now, if you don't have a veggie spiralizer, you can just cut your zucchini into ribbons using a vegetable peeler, and that'll work just great. You'll just have some slightly wider pieces of veggie pasta. And you get these great little veggie noodles and some of them are super long. These are really fun to make and they're so easy to throw in as a side dish or to substitute for noodles in a recipe. My black pepper has been toasting up for a little while, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in just a little bit of olive oil to the pan. Just a quick drizzle. After that's been cooking for about 20 seconds, I'm going to add in a third cup of cold water. I've turned down the heat a little bit, and while that simmers, I'm going to start grating up my Pecorino Romano cheese. And if you don't have that, Parmesan will work okay, but you do have to make sure that it's fresh grated. You don't wanna get the pre-shredded stuff because it does have anti-caking powders on there, and that kind of keeps it from melting into the sauce as nicely. So fresh grated one way or another is definitely the way to go for this. Once I have a good little pile of shredded cheese here, I am ready to put my pasta together, and this is going to be done so fast. All right, I'll stir around my water, pepper, and olive oil mixture. I would say I could add just a little bit more water. Some of that's evaporated, so I'm gonna do that. Just give that a little splash, and then I'm going to add my zucchini noodles right into that water and pepper mixture. I'll give this a toss around and continue to cook these zucchini noodles until they just start to soften. I don't want them to become too mushy. I still want them to have a little bit of bite so the texture is similar to cooked pasta. It's only been a few minutes and you can already see that these zucchini noodles have started to cook down quite a bit and soften up. I still have a decent amount of liquid in the pan. So this is where I'm going to stop the cooking process. I'm gonna bring this off the heat and set it on the counter. We're gonna add in our cheese. Now that I have my zucchini noodles off of the stove, the pan is still really warm. Make sure it's still super hot when you're doing this. I'm going to sprinkle in some of my grated cheese. And then give this a mix and this should gently melt into the water that's in the pan and kind of form a sauce on the pasta. And then once that first batch of cheese has melted in, add what's remaining. This looks like it came out amazing and some of these zucchini noodles are super long. Let's give this a try and see how it came out. Give this a little swirl and get some zucchini noodles on my fork. It's just like pasta. Let's give this a try and see how it came out. 
So this came out really good. This came out amazing. It has all the same flavors of cacio e pepe, and it's a great way to use up zucchini, especially if you're growing this in the garden this summer. You always have way too much. This is gonna use up quite a bit. One zucchini cooks down a lot, so I would recommend doing this with at least two to three, especially if you are trying to feed a few people. One, I would say, is just enough for one person. So great way to get a little bit more vegetables in, and it really is a fantastic recipe. I'm gonna be making this again for sure. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon so you can get notified every time I post. As always, you can find the full recipe down in the description box below, along with links to all my social media pages so you can follow along for more cooking content. Hope to see you back here next time.